What's up everybody? Welcome to my new video. Um, today's video is going to show you how to tie two awesome knots. Um, nothing in the world is worse than hooking into a fish and a line pops. Um, you know, that's just one of the things that will just make any angler mad whatsoever. And a lot of times there's people out there um, that just think that tying a bunch of overhand knots is going to hold. And that's not true. Um, I'm going to show you two knots. First is an uh, improved clinch knot and a second is a polymer knot. Um, I'm going to get to a video real fast to show you something. Um, the other day I was out fishing with a buddy after work, um, tied a just stupid crazy um, real fast knot. The weather was approaching us. Um, threw it out there, second cast I land right into a tree. I start yanking on the rod trying to get this crankbait out. The line pops, the lure falls out of the tree straight into the water. And um, I'm going to show you how I got that lure back. And then we're going to get to tying some knots. Thanks. All right, what I got going on is there's a crankbait and it's mine and I'm trying to get it with my hat. Hold on, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And that, boys and girls, I want you to see it with your own eyes. That's right there. That's how you get your fishing lure back. What's up everybody? First thing I'm gonna show you is the improved clinch knot. Um, it's a simple, easy knot to tie, um, very quick. And then I'm gonna show you probably the most uh, versatile uh, best knot there is. Uh, any bass angler all over the country um, will tell you that it is probably the best knot that you can tie and that's the polymer knot. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using a, a big 8 dot circle hook and some yellow rope right here. And I can do it. You can do it. It's easy to do. Good luck. Okay, first I have, nope, I'm not going to do that, cut. <clears throat> okay, first knot is the polymer knot. It's an easy knot to tie. What you want to do is you want to give yourself about six to eight inches of your fishing line. So you're going to have a tag line, and you'll have your main line, and you will just want to make, just double it back on itself like this. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to take it, you want to put that doubled in through the eye of the hook. So it simply just looks like this right here. Okay, all right, after that, you want to take and make a simple overhand knot to where you have an overhand knot like this, and then Take that big loop that you have after the overhand knot, come over your hook, and slowly pull everything back. All right, when it gets where it's almost tight, pull on the main line and the tag in. And a lot of times, especially using like monofilament or braid, um, you want to put a little bit of spit on there, some saliva. And what that does <clears throat> is, um, That'll keep it a little bit lubricated as you're tightening it up that it doesn't cut into itself when it ties this knot. And give you a good tug on the tag line, give you a good tug on the main line. And then afterwards, this is what you have right here. Okay. Then what I do after that is I simply just cut off the tag end. It's a lot easier with fishing line. 
and there you have it. You have polymer knot. Next one I want to tie the knot that I've been tying my whole life is the first knot that I ever learned how to tie. My brother taught me how to tie. And what you simply do is you just take your you end of your main line and you put it through and bring it up probably about for demonstration it's going to be longer but what I got right here when I'm using a regular fishing line all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up about six inches okay so once you have it take your thumb and your index finger and just hold the line together just like this right here then I'm going to give it about six to eight turns on fishing line just for this video um, I'm only going to give it about four and once you get it twisted six or eight times you'll take your tag in and then there's going to be this loop right here right above the eye of the hook and you want to put that in the loop pull it in a little bit and then now you're left with this big loop right here then take the tag in, put through this loop. Then what I like to do is I'll pull on the main line and then once it gets where it's almost tight, then I'm going to pull the hook or the bait and cinch everything down. And then just like on the polymer knot, I'm going to cut that tag in off. So, with both these knots, I can assure you, you're going to catch more fish, get them to the boat, get them in the bank, and with these two knots, you're going to be able to trust your, uh, your line, your hook sets, and um, improve your chances on landing a big one.